This video is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. We are in San Myshuno in the 17 Culpeper House apartment and we are turning this into an apartment for a professional chef and we are using a lot of items from our brand new stuff pack, The Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle. So thank you again to the EA Creator Network for allowing me to have early access to this pack so that I can bring this apartment to you all. I'm, I love this apartment. I love this apartment in San Myshuno specifically because it's a really good size. If you want to, you can definitely turn this into a two bedroom apartment. But my sort of vision for this particular build was that I wanted it to be more of like a, an apartment space for like a professional sim. And of course, as I said, we are using a lot of items, especially in the kitchen, of course, uh, from the Home Chef Hustle stuff pack. So you'll have to let me know, sorry, excuse me, what you think in the comments down below of this apartment. But this is a lot more modern than I would have normally gone for. And I really like that about this apartment actually, because usually I go for like more traditional interior styles. But with this one, because of the new items that we got, I was just like, Okay, let's go a little bit more modern, a little bit more sleek and chic. And this entire theme carries through the entire apartment, including the living room and the bathroom, and of, of course the bedroom as well. One thing I really love about this, and I'm trying to work out if I actually included this in the footage, is that I actually end up putting the kitchen raised on a platform. I think it looks fantastic. I do not use platforms anywhere near as often as I feel I should use them in builds. I don't know why, maybe they scare me a little bit. Maybe that's something to do with it. I, I don't know, do platforms scare anybody else? Like, I don't even know what about them scares me. It's kind of like the terrain manipulation tool that scares me as well. Like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> anyway, this was my very first look at the new stuff pack just as like an off topic thing. So <laughs> I'll link in the top right hand corner for you the build by overview video that I posted yesterday, but I actually started this apartment before I posted that video. So you will see me probably taking a little bit longer to have a look at some of the items and try and work out which color schemes I thought worked and where to put clutter and like what clutter was actually included in this stuff pack. So we've got a pizza oven here as well. This was really important for me to include because I thought a professional, a professional, sorry, excuse me again. I can talk, I promise, I can talk. I was doing this last night in the, uh, in the voiceovers, but I figured a professional chef would have like a waffle maker and a pizza oven and a food mixer. So I thought it was really important to include all of those items because they do of course come with this new pack so I just thought it was really important to include them but this is not a pack restricted build I would just like to make that disclaimer right now I just I, when I first get a pack I really like to see how the new items integrate and blend with items that we already have in the game being someone that has all the packs I know that not everybody does I'm very very lucky that I do have them but I like to see like how do the swatches work with one another, color schemes, like themes of the items. I use quite a lot of items from various kits that have been released over the, when did the kits start coming out? Over the last couple of years. So it's, yeah, it's quite kit heavy. It's quite pack heavy. I'm just making that disclaimer right now because I think it's definitely worth mentioning. Now, on the kitchen island here, I struggled for a little bit because I'm thinking, because I'm a little bit of a clutter fiend and whilst clutter looks great if you're doing more traditional style builds, I think when you're going more modern, it doesn't necessarily work all that well. So you might be looking at this and thinking, Mitchell, this is still quite cluttered. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely not wrong in saying that. However, it's it's a little bit more muted than my normal builds. I'm gonna use the air bunny as my normal builds. <laughs> anyway, we do move on to the living area here and I use these sofas from the, I'm pretty sure they're from the book nook kit and I'm not sure that I've ever used these in this particular swatch before, but I just thought with that pop of turquoise, 
and it just blended really beautifully with, with what we had going on in the kitchen so I was like yeah I'm just I'm going to include this I think it looks I think it looks quite nice <laughs> again please let me know what you think and please by all means if this apartment isn't quite to your taste or you're thinking oh I maybe wouldn't have made that choice there please feel free to change anything you would like but I really love this apartment space I add some items from the modern looks kit I almost forgot the name of it and speaking of kits I, I know I mentioned this in my last kit video when I created I did like a modern looks apartment like studio apartment I'll pop a card in the right hand corner for you if you want to go and check it out no pressure but if you would like to check it out then please do so but I spoke a lot about that and I was saying that I'm so happy that we can now filter by kit it's something that we've been asking for since kits really took off and now we seem to have an awful lot which means we had a lot of items <laughs> you know so now that we're actually able to filter by kit I definitely find it a lot easier to find all the items that I need I'd, and I'm pretty sure most people would agree on that I feel like it's it's been a long time coming I feel like they were a little bit late with it but the important thing is that it's been added now and that's the, that's the most important thing so I I wouldn't say I struggled with the living space. I wanted it to, to feel really open and flowy and like I said at the beginning, like kind of modern and chic. So pulling out these curtains from the Modern Looks kit, I, I love these curtains. I've used them in traditional builds, I've used them in modern builds. I think they're really versatile and they're, they just work well. What can I say? I just think they work super well in a lot of different settings. But yeah, I do use quite a few items from the Modern Looks kit because that's kind of the vibe that I was wanting to go for with this particular apartment block. I wanted it to be kind of high end. You know, it's for a professional sim who's a professional chef. So I wanted it to have that, that sort of feel to it. Anyway, I do some rejigging. I can't remember if I do it on camera or off camera. <laughs> <laughs> because I actually built this over two days not because it took me two days to build but simply because I started it and then recorded my build by overview and then I came back to this today so recorded it over a couple of different sittings usually I would furnish something like this in one go but like in one setting because setting sitting sitting I did this in another voiceover where I got the, the words confused <laughs> anyway but um because i think all in this apartment probably took me a little bit just like just over an hour maybe just ballpark just like thinking off the top of my head i'd say around an hour and i would say that was only really because i was still like looking at the items and probably because i'm not familiar with the items it sometimes takes me longer to decide which like i said at the beginning which items i actually want to use and which colors i want to go for <laughs> <laughs> anyway back to the build because I'm getting into that like rambly stage I, I, I can just I can feel myself I can definitely feel myself getting a little bit rambly <laughs> anyway so this for this part of the living room I did decide to give this sim a home office because I figured that they could just they would make really good use of this space I had no idea what else to put here because what else could I have put there in all seriousness like I'm throwing that question out to the room would you have made a different decision and that's a genuine question because that's the decision that I made <laughs> anyway we move on to the one and only bedroom this bedroom is in terms of the color scheme it's so muted and it's so not my sims style like in real life I might consider something like this but in, in my sims builds this is something that I, I just wouldn't even consider doing and what's really great about this apartment is I think I think it's got me out of my comfort zone a little bit and I spoke about this in my modern looks studio apartment build as well when we get new items it definitely pulls me out of my comfort zone a little bit and makes me sort of make choices that I wouldn't have necessarily made prior to the pack coming out you know so I, I think we all have like these items like our go-to items that we we gravitate towards and we use all the time and then when when we get new packs I feel like we just we just make different decisions does that does that make sense I'm hoping it does <laughs> so the bedroom is really plainly decorated again just trying to keep with that modern more simplistic sort of vibe although I do add like a chest of drawers in front of the window as well as this wardrobe because it's a pretty big room and again I just had no idea what else to put on this wall I, I didn't have a clue not a clue and then I very quickly move on to the 
one and only bathroom and I love the way that turned out actually because I used this shower bath combination from Growing Together which I absolutely love and I don't get to use often enough. Anyway, we've made it to the end of the build. So if you would like to download this apartment from the gallery, my origin ID is Rachel Ped. Tray files will be linked down in the description box below. You can get them for free from Sim File Share. But thank you so much everyone for joining me here today. You all take care and I will see you next time I post a video. Bye.